Hey guys, just arrived to Asakusa Station. Let's get out from here. Let's go to Sensoji. Haven't visited Asakusa for a while. I'm excited. That's Kanodori, which is the Asakusa Arcade. When you see that street, just turn left and you will find the Sensoji Temple. And here we go. One of the most popular travel spots in Tokyo, Asakusa Sensoji Temple. Oh my goodness, so many people there, even the weekday. Wow. Let's get closer. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's much, much, much more than the last time when I visit. So many people. I can't even move. Well, something has changed in Japan. Do you guys realize what the difference? Okay, so let me go into the Nakamise Street. Oh my goodness, so many people. <laughs> it's really hard to walk. This is the picture spot. After we pass this place, it will be better. This is the symbol of Asakusa called Kaminari Mon. There is a picture spot here too. Don't forget to take a photo if you visit. And here we go, we are at Nakamise Street. <laughs> oh my goodness, wow! So did you guys realize the differences? Yes, finally, Japanese government officially declared that uh, we don't have to wear the mask even inside the building too. But maybe you are wondering, are really Japanese people taking off the mask? So in this video, I will try to show you guys how the Japanese street looks like and giving you guys a travel situation update. And also, I will show you guys how to get to the major stations. So hope this video can be a help for your next Japan trip. Anyway, let's keep walking. By the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Sale. Yeah. Alright, so let's keep walking. Let's go. So now we are at Nakamise Street. This is one of the most popular travel spots for foreign travelers too. So it's one of the most crowded places. During the pandemic, most of the stores were closed. It was like a shuttered arcade street, but now pretty much all the store is open. Oh yeah, for them, finally, it's time to make money. This place was like a ghost town even in the week and during the pandemic. However, <laughs> gradually getting more and more people and finally, yep, maybe because of the Sakura season, even in the weekday, it's super packed. Well, especially the spring break is started for college students. That's the reason why more people here. After a week from now, for these high school students and the junior high school kids, the spring break will start, so it will be more and more people. You gotta be ready for that. Oh, sweet. Already Sakura is blooming. And this is the Sensoji Temple. There was a construction over here, but it's already gone. And it became much, much better for taking photos. <laughs> Even in the back street, so many people. Oh, there is a new ramen store open. Interesting. I guess they are targeting the foreign travelers because they are is an uh, English language and also I guess that's a uh, Indonesian. Looks like a saksa. Oh, and also this is a new restaurant too. Metohoshi. Interesting. Seems like it's a clam teishoku. Oh, shogayaki teishoku. One thousand four hundred thirty Japanese yen. Interesting. Yep, sounds like European price. Must be a really good one. By the way, if you are heading to Tokyo Sky Tree, yes, that's the one over there. It's about 15 to 20 minutes walking from here. You can take train or you can walk. Must be there are so many people in Asakusa Menchi too. Oh, there is new Warabi Mochi store. That's Anshinya, the deep fried chicken, Taiwanese style one. Ah. And that's the line for Asakusa Menchi. Yes, on weekday, so many people. That's a long line. Wow, again, this is the weekday. I'm wondering how it will be on the weekend. Interesting. Now we're in the arcade. 
less people compared to Nakamse Street. There are more staffs and also price is cheaper compared to Nakamse Street. So if you want to save money, you'd better come over to the arcade. It's right next to the Nakamise Street. Oh my goodness, look at this matcha shiratama. Looking pretty good. <laughs> There are many souvenir stores, but also there are many traditional local stores, so must be interesting. <laughs> Look at that, interesting! Number one apple pie in the world. Apple pie made by the world's number one chef, Marco Paolo Malinari. Okay, interesting. I've never tried one, so why not? Let's do it. Hi, I Sweet. Alright, so we got the number one apple pie in the world. Let's try it! People are everywhere, so we have to find a place to eat. Oh, by the way, if you park on the street, the bicycle, it will be removed like that, and then you have to end up paying 5,000 Japanese yen to pick it up. So be careful. Alright, so let's try the number one apple pie in the world. Hope oh, it's, it's number one. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Inside there's an apple custard and also the cheese. Wow, that's interesting. So when you bite it is sweet but not like super sweet. So many flavors. 450 Japanese yen for the apple pie. It's not cheap in Japan, but uh, yeah, I like it. So the next spot is Ameno Uyoko Street. Must be there are so many people too. So let's go this way. If you are heading to Ueno from Asakusa, use the Ginza Line, which is the orange circle. It's three stations away. Only takes seven minutes by train. So let's go. So let's go to check Ameno Street. Inside the station, it was really packed, and 90% of people wear masks. And I wear masks too, you know. I'm a Japanese. Social pressure. From Asakusa to Ueno, 168 Japanese yen. When you arrive to Ueno, just go to the Ueno Park, then you can find the Ameyoko Street too. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful! Ueno Park is a really popular spot for panda and also sakura too. Must be so many people in the Ueno Zoo. Ameyoko Street, it's just over there. If you are heading to airport, you will use the Keisei Line and the station is just over there. There were about 70% people wearing a mask in Asakusa, so how about Ueno? Oh, claw machines. Is there something that I should try? Let's try the total one. Can I get it? Oh! <laughs> well, even not that close. Let me try it one more time. This time? Maybe I can get it. <laughs> Actually, I was catching the different one. <laughs> Maybe next time. So now we arrive to Ameyoko Street. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many people. Yes, it's a weekday. Yeah, whenever I walk this street, <laughs> I do feel like I'm in Japan. But uh, now it became more and more. For locals, probably many people feeling that uh, this place is more like a you know South Asian atmosphere well compared to other places more energy so I like it I think pretty similar to Asakusa about 70% wear the mask and the 30% already take off the mask how about the back street <laughs> Oh my goodness, Tanoshi Osushiya-san and hamburger. Oh, they have a new one too here. The taiyaki and the dango. 
Well, I made a video about it about three years ago. The quote isn't that great, but if you're interested in, please check my uh, very early video. <laughs> Let's keep working. Oh, this place, they sell teishoku with 600 Japanese yen. Compared to Asakusa wine, it's a half price. Oh, this place, they don't charge the otoshi and the osekidai, meaning no charge for the seats. Why not? Let's try it. <laughs> oh, they have a seat for one person. So they have the beer, 450 Japanese yen, and also a snack too. So I want to try something that I haven't tried. Let's try this umakara torikawa, 450 Japanese yen. Also, you know what? I found this, the tomato and the egg. I want to try this too. Let's order. All right, here we go. When I was in China, I really love this egg and tomato one, but it's not popular in Japan. So I couldn't find it. And finally I found it. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Psycho. Well, I know usually people eat with rice, but uh, yeah, I don't mind to eat with beer. So speaking of this egg and tomato wine, I used to study in China, and when I was in China, this was my favorite dish. I think the price was less than 100 Japanese yen. Well, you know, I was a poor student when I was studying in China, so yeah, this fan jeju tanfang helped me a lot. Mmm. Natsukashi. And also, this one is the umakara torikawa, the chicken skin, spicy oil. Let's try. Well, this must be really good with beer too. Itadakimasu. Interesting. Actually, it's pretty good. It's not spicy, it's sweet and sour. Mm. It's really chewy too, so perfect with beer. Oh, sorry. If you are waiting for the travel situation update, hold on one second. After eating this, I will go back to the stream. You know, I got to pump the gas. Oh, and also here, it's a travel tip. Speaking of the Japanese culture, izakaya, which is a drinking bar, usually they have the otoshi, which is the, you know, you will receive the small stuff, such as like soybean, or sometimes it's like wasabi octopus, but usually it's more expensive compared to the regular food, and um, you can't deny it. And that, that becomes the table church. But this place, they don't charge otoshi, so it's more easy to walk in. If you like to try random places and love to drink, you gotta be careful. Because usually, you know, not only the food you order, but they also charge the table fee called otoshi. So in Tokyo, usually it's about 500 Japanese yen. So let's say you just ordered 1,000 Japanese yen, it becomes like 1,500 Japanese yen. Yeah. You know what? Actually, that's a lot. Mm. Yeah, definitely. This is good enough for lunch. Oh, that was good, and I'm full. One thing we have to be careful is that I didn't realize, but that place, the smoking is okay too. So, you know, if it's in the park time, you gotta be careful, yeah? Someone might be smoking. Well, in Japan, big restaurant has a no smoking policy. It's, you know, by the law, but a small restaurant, still some place can smoke. So yeah, if you don't like smoke, you gotta be careful. And here we go. Next stop is Akihabara. At the end of the Ameyoko street, there is a Okachimachi station. Only one station away. I usually walk, but today I will take train so that I can explain. From Okachimachi Station to Akihabara, we will take Yamanote Loop Line. Only one station away. Oh, it just gone. 
but don't worry. Yamanote Rupai comes really quick. The next train is four minutes from now. We're heading to Tokyo Station. So you can use this train. Akihabara is the next station, only two minutes. But Tokyo Station is uh, three stations away, six minutes. Okay, so let's go to the Denkigai Electric Town. <laughs> Interesting. Pandas. It's a panda theme chocolate. They have strawberry one too. From Okachimachi to Akihabara costs 136 Japanese yen. So let's check the town. Oh, interesting. It already opened. It was closing. I didn't know that. Seems like they are having the anime good sale. And here we go. We are at Main Street. If you want to visit Akihabara, I recommend to visit this place on Sunday noon. Because this street become a pedestrian street and it become the photo spot. The no car can enter. One of the picture spot taking a photo with train. It's the iconic Akihabara spot, but only on Sunday noon. This place too, more travelers, but uh, compared to Asakusa and uh, Ueno, maybe less. <laughs> Interesting fashion, kimono with Tokyo head. In Akihabara, compared to Ueno and Asakusa, I feel like more people wearing a mask, maybe 80% wear mask and 20% not wearing a mask. All right, so it's the gachapon time. Let's find something interesting over here. Oh my goodness, this is so niche. 400 Japanese yen? It's a caterpillar gachapon. <laughs> if you are the big fan of caterpillar, try it. Also, this one. <laughs> Spicy go oh, mentaiko gachapon. If you are the big fan of mentaiko, which is the spicy cutlo, here you go. What else we have? <laughs> Look, Denny's gachapon. If you are the big fan of Denny's, there we go. <laughs> we are in Akihabara. Of course, we have more. How about here? Oh. I found something interesting and something different. I have no idea what it is. I think it's a mystery gachapon. So let's try if it works it or not. Yep. If it doesn't work, it... that's okay. Well, if I got something useless, it's okay because I've never got something useful from gachapons. <laughs> that's all for me. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna show what it is. Let me see. Well, I guess it's some anime character. It's a Windbreaker's figure. Ah, uh, yeah. 100 Japanese yen. So if you love Windbreakers, maybe you can try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure if you can get the same one though. That's okay. So let's go to the next spot this way. Let's keep walking. If you keep straight about 15 minutes, you can get to the Okachimachi station and the Ueno station. So if you have time, you can enjoy walking. Well, if you want to enjoy the Akihabara more, don't forget to visit the back street too. There are more stores and also made cafes. Next, let's go to the last stop, Shinjuku. Shinjuku station is a bit far from here, 
So there are several ways to go. The first way is to use the sob line and the chuo line. If you don't like something complicated, you can just use the Yamanote line too, but it will take more time. From here to Shinjuku, it takes about 20 minutes. If you want to go by the fastest way, here is how you go. Take the train from number 5. It says for Ochanomizu and also Shinjuku too. As you see inside the station, most of people wear the mask. And so I have to. Well, why do I wear a mask? It's a social pleasure. <laughs> so we are here at Akihabara station. We go to the Ochanomizu station and we change the train to Chuo line so that it can go faster to Shinjuku. If you keep riding on the Sob line, it takes so many stops. But if you change it to this Chuo line from Ochanomizu station, only two stops away. So it's really fast. <laughs> And when you arrive to Ochanomizu station, just take the train in front of you. <laughs> Arrived to Shinjuku station, the station always packed. Yep. But after it becomes 6 p.m., it will be more and more people. Yeah, more. So now let's go to the main street, which is the Godzilla Street and the Kabukicho. Uh oh, Splatoon 3! Oh, really? Now we have a gacha phone in Shinjuku Station too? Yep, gacha phone is everywhere in Japan. Literally everywhere. Ah, this Kingyo Chochin, Kingyo Lantern figure. This one is good. Oh my goodness, Kua Aina, my favorite burger restaurant, gacha phone. I found it. 500 Japanese yen. I will eat burger next time instead of this gacha phone. <laughs> anyway, let's go to Kabukicho. If it's your first time to visiting Shinjuku for the sightseeing, I recommend to use the east exit. Well, Shinjuku is a maze. If you get lost, it will take a long time. By the way, 168 Japanese yen from Akihabara to Shinjuku. After you get out from here, just take the stairs in front of you. You will find a sign of police box next to the exit. After you get up from the station, you will find the cat display over there. That's one of the iconic spots of Shinjuku. And also, you can just the street in front of it. It goes to the Kabukicho. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Shinjuku. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> this station is really packed, but the atmosphere is a bit different. Akihabara and Ueno. Mostly travelers, but this place many locals and travelers. So it is literally really packed everywhere. Can you see the hotel in front of you? That's the Godzilla Gracely Hotel. Here we go. Gal. There is a Don Quixote in front of the Kabukicho. But I don't really recommend to use it because it's super packed and it's like a maze. If you wanna use the Don Quixote in Shinjuku, there is another Don Quixote in South part of Shinjuku. 
So I highly recommend to use the Don Quixote in south part of Shinjuku, not the Kabukicho one. It's interesting to see inside the stores though, but uh, not for the shopping. To be honest, during the pandemic, Kabukicho's atmosphere was pretty bad. Uh, but uh, after Tobolos comes back, the security gets more strict, so the atmosphere gets much better. Can you see the yellow color jacket guys? They are the security in Kabukicho. Well, if you go to the back street of this main street, it will be like more, you know, per the atmosphere. I'm not sure if it's safe or not for the first time traveler. But if you want to see the Kabukicho and you don't want to take a risk, just come over to this main street. It is pretty safe for travelers too. Yay. You know, and also you can enjoy the atmosphere of Kabukicho. Oh my goodness, look at the sky. Really beautiful. Loving it. Here is another photo spot in Shinjuku. Just walk toward to the train. Here. This is one of the iconic spots in Shinjuku too. Just keep straight more. And across the street. At the corner. There is the entrance of Omoide Yokocho. It's a really traditional. Small drinking restaurants over there, but recently he got more strict of the filming, so I skip here. And now we are at west part of Shinjuku. This place is super crowded, so let's go to the upstairs. It would be better. Even the downstairs is super crowded. This place, not crowded. Just in front of the west gate of Shinjuku, my hidden spot. Really beautiful. If you want to relax, you can escape from here. Alright, so hope you could see the atmosphere of Japan and also the mask situation. Well, to be honest, yes, the finally government declared, but uh, still, <laughs> Many people are wearing masks and uh, for Japanese, including me, you know, if everyone is wearing masks, I feel like that I got to wear masks too. And also, walking outside without wearing mask, kind of feeling weird because it's been so long that I wear the mask, so yeah. <laughs> That's my honest feeling. However, after a while, people get more and more used to it and probably in mid of April, people start taking off masks, maybe? I will start taking off masks outside, but still, maybe inside the train or like inside the restaurant, I will try to wear the mask. Well, you know, but it's not because I worry about the situation. But it's because social pressure. <laughs> I was born and raised in Japan, and uh, that's how the Japanese culture works. <laughs> Probably, if you grew up in outside of Japan, you don't really understand much. But uh, yeah, social pressure. <laughs> anyway, hope this video will be a help for your next Japan travel. There will be more Japan travel updates and also Japan travel videos are coming. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account as well. Alright, so see you in the next video. See you next <laughs> Have a great night. Bye bye. You know, I could kind of expect that this situation, even government declared that you can take off the mask, people don't take off the mask, especially for ladies because, yeah, many ladies are shy and also they don't have to wear the makeup. So probably for them, maybe it's more easier wearing a mask. Well, so here, Japan travel tip. Even you don't have to, but if you want to wear the mask, just wear the mask.